What's up guys? Welcome to the Digital Specials. My name is Grace Amondi and I will take you through GDAL stroke OGR. Now along the way you might have heard of the name GDAL and that's why you have clicked on this tutorial, right? Now what is GDAL? GDAL in full is a geospatial data abstraction library. Let me give you a short story. I love eating toast bread, right? So every morning when I wake up, I go to the kitchen and prepare some toast bread using my toast machine. So I put two slices of toast and I wait. Now, I don't have to be worried about how this machine works. I don't have to be worried about how long it takes to toast the bread or what temperature to put. Why? Because someone somewhere sat down and took their time to deal with this kind of internal implementations. That's a good example of abstraction and that's what GDAL does for you. GDAL has taken care of all of the worries and stresses and implementations that you need to do in order to perform some of this vector and raster processing. So GDAL is a library that um, is used for raster and vector geospatial data format processing and it has other core features. One, it enables reading and writing of raster and vector geospatial formats. It enables data format translation. It also enables geospatial processing. Now GDAL is one of the many projects that OSGEO, which is the Open Source Geospatial Foundation, has come up with. Now GDAL and OGR are used by several softwares, um, including QGIS, ArcGIS, you name it. Some of the other projects of OSGO include the QGIS that I've mentioned, uh, GVSIG, there is MapServer, have you heard of GeoServer, GeoNode, MapBender, GrassGIS, you name it. So now, some of you might confuse uh, GDAL with um, OGR, and OGR is a simple um, features library built on C++ and it's mainly used for reading or writing vector files and OGR is part of GDAL okay so now that you've gotten a grip of what GDAL OGR is head on over to the next tutorial where we install GDAL stroke OGR and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like. Bye.